So I've been using full self-driving supervised on my Tesla Model Y 2021 long range for about a week now. And it's been a mix of awesome and terrifying. It actually got me almost into a freaking wreck yesterday. So I'll tell you about that. I'll show you some footage. For the most part, it actually drives really well. When you take your hand off the wheel for the first time and you let the car just do its thing, come to complete stops at stoplights, stop signs, changing lanes, getting on the freeway, exiting the freeway. It's not perfect, but it is kind of a miracle that this technology even exists. Honestly, to me, it feels about 75% there. It's definitely not full self-driving. It's literally called supervised driving and you definitely have have to supervise the hell out of it. It almost feels like you're supervising somebody who has never driven before, but is kind of starting to get their grips with it. But I unfortunately, I have so many negative things to say about my experience with FSD so far. My first huge gripe is lane changing. Oh my gosh. Full self-driving is an actual dream if there's no other cars on the road. But if there's someone coming up in the lane that you're trying to change into, I've witnessed this so many times where the car starts going into that lane, it starts changing the lane, but it senses that there's a car coming up or maybe there's a car just letting you in. It goes into the lane like halfway and then it jerks back into the previous lane. You miss your freaking exit. Meanwhile, there's people behind you that were kind enough to let you in and they're probably confused as hell. For whatever reason, FSD does that so many times and it's not only annoying, it's actually kind of dangerous. And speaking of dangerous, it's time for story time about how FSD actually almost got me killed yesterday. So I was using FSD yesterday on a freeway here in Austin. So anyway, there's a ton of traffic on the road. I'm in the left lane using FSD. Everything's going pretty well for the most part. But I noticed that coming up, there are a bunch of cars that are stopping and I'm just like, okay, any day now, FSD, we're gonna slow down, right? And it keeps going and it kind of starts stopping and then it comes to this kind of gradual stop. And then when it actually almost hit the freaking car in front of me, it started coasting again. So I had to actually slam on the brakes and I came within probably a few inches of hitting hitting the car in front of me. If I hadn't put my foot down on the brake, I definitely would have hit the car in front of me, 100%. And then literally two seconds later, the car behind me actually hits me from behind. They rear-ended me and I was sitting there like, what the actual fuck? The F in full self-driving should actually stand for fuck. So there's a couple things that I noticed here. It waited forever to slow down, to come to that gradual stop when this car was obviously stopped on a freeway. They came to a freaking full stop and somehow FSD was like, no, I'm just gonna keep pummeling towards this freaking car. So it seems like a very common thing that happens with FSD is it senses that there's a car stopped in front of you. And this could be a stoplight, it could be a freeway, whatever. And it starts to gradually slow down, but I think it underestimates how far this car is in front of you and how slow they're going or how stopped they are. And FSD is like, yo, I think I'm just going to wait until the last minute to come to like this crazy stop. But when this happens on the freeway and there's cars behind you, cars in front of you, and it is jam packed, it's actually terrifying. Like I cannot believe what actually happened yesterday when I was like almost hitting this freaking car. And then this car slams into my car behind me and rear ends me. And that's not really on FSD, obviously, like the car was way too close to me. They shouldn't have been so close. I got really freaking lucky though. And I actually didn't have almost any, if not at all damage. Like there's a slight dent in the back of my car, but overall, like it really wasn't that bad, but it was more just kind of shocking and terrifying to witness FSD just F up so many times. It really needs better technology to estimate how far you are from the car in front of you. It needs to figure out a way to stop more gradually so it doesn't jerk everyone's bodies like we're freaking ragdolls or whatever. For me, this is very unacceptable. I would definitely not pay $12,000 for this. I would definitely not pay $200 a month for this, especially if I did a lot of freeway driving where there's a lot of cars and FSD had to manage that. And it's like missing exits constantly on the freeway and then having to reroute because it doesn't want to merge. It just seems like you're driving with someone who is really learning to drive for the first time and it's honestly embarrassing it's dangerous the s in fsd i think should not be self-driving i think it should be like fucking supervised driving i think that's what fsd maybe actually stands for because it has a long way to go y'all and if you have experienced this let me know in the comments like what is your experience with dealing with fsd trying to change lanes and underestimating how far the car is in front of you on a freeway and it has to freaking slam on the brakes and then coast towards the car when it's a few inches away like what in the actual f <sighs>
I actually feel a little better now that I vented. And if you watched all the way to the end of this video, leave a bear emoji in the comments down below. Smash the like button, subscribe down below. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. It was a Saturday night.